Hello, my name is Alex Bensinger. I make videos for a living, and today we have what's called a motorized camera slider with us today. We'll be reviewing one by A&J Pro. Now, what does a camera slider do? What is it for? Well, it's a piece of filming equipment that I use to get very special smooth shots. Now, history behind this, Camera sliders have been out for a fat minute. You can find them all over the internet. So ones you just move with your hand. So a few years ago, a company called Rhino came out with a motorized camera slider called Rhino Motion, and it absolutely changed the game. Okay, so you probably guessed where the story is going. I wanted a camera slider myself. Uh, the problem was, the big problem was, it was like super expensive. I think it was like an $1,800 unit. That's money you could spend on something like a gimbal or, or, or you know, it's, it's no small purchase for a videographer. So I had to hold off on it until, sure enough, these aftermarket motorized sliders started appearing on amazon.com and boy, I was quick to get one. I've been using this puppy for like the past month and I'm very, very excited to show you what it does and maybe some of the results I've gotten with it. Without further ado, we will start the review of my A&J Pro motorized camera slider system. Um, so for the price uh, that I paid for this, uh, I would definitely say uh, this is this kind of matches what I would expect the case to look like based on what I paid for it. Um, uh, actually, pretty robust. Uh, you know, it is it is this kind of like soft foam um, kind of stuff in the middle here. But the the, the zipper case is is a nice thick fabric. Like we're doing good. We're gonna make it. Um, and out comes our a and Pro motorized camera slider. So there she is outside of the box, outside of the case. You'll notice we have some cool blue anodized aluminum pieces of hardware uh, around here. Um, we can raise and lower these legs here to get some steadiness. Uh, there is a small and a large female thread um, on the sides and middle of the unit. So uh, you're not gonna have any problem attaching this to one or more tripods. The actual nut that they give us here is a 5 8 tripod head. Uh, it comes with a it comes with an adapter. So I bought this on Amazon. This is a newer ball head tripod. I can put the link to it in the description, but um, this uh, is essentially what allows us to attach a camera to this and is quite necessary. So that just screws on like that, the ball head mount and then we can attach a camera to the tripod head. What is so great about this camera slider compared to other camera sliders? Well, there's two unique functionalities that I think make it a major player in the camera slider game. Feature number one is it goes side to side like this, but by adjusting these pan bar knobs, we can make the camera go like this. You see how it's what this does is it creates an effect called parallax. Um, and, and that's essentially uh, the difference of movement between uh, a foreground and a background. And you'll see in these example shots that I'll show you here is uh, the effect is quite pleasing to the eye. One, I've told you about the panning motion. The second unique feature, well, it's motorized. The controller runs on a, I believe this is a Sony NPF550 battery. Um, it comes pretty standard. Uh, the unit actually shipped with the battery and the charger, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, a note on battery life uh, for this, uh, it's outstanding. It's, it's very practical. I actually bought extra batteries, but I, I never find myself using them. Uh, it, it definitely takes some finesse in getting used to. You can power this unit using a motor, 
which gives you like incredibly steady, smooth shots. Now, why is the motor so much better than just using your hands? Well, aside from being able to do time lapses now, which we'll get into later, the motion is so steady that you can actually zoom the lens in a little bit that creates even more of that parallax effect that we talked about earlier, which is super buttery smooth, awesome sauce. I can't show you enough of these example videos. So we have a few different modes here uh, that we can actually put the camera slider in. Um, there's video shot mode and time lapse mode, and then um, on the main screen you'll also see there's a, an option for settings. Um, if we go into video shot mode, uh, we can do something called automatic mode, which is uh, kind of like where it can go from one side to the other and back and forth without stopping. And that would be useful if you were, say, recording an interview or something like that and you wanted to just set the camera up and forget about it. That's what auto loop mode would do for you. If you're stuck anywhere, you can just long press on the center button uh, to get to the main menu screen. Uh, that's something that I didn't realize and was very frustrated by initially. The possibilities are quite endless here. Uh, we could take the video speed and go all the way down to like 1% and then it'll take a very slow moving recording that we can speed up and do a time lapse looking thing uh, if our subject is traffic or something high moving like that or if we want to do some super crazy moving time lapses there is a time lapse setting that allows us to take super smooth long exposure time lapses so we could get moving shots of the stars, parallax shots. Speaking of time lapses, they give you like a ton of extra cords and adapters so you can plug in pretty much every type of camera uh, on the market right now. It came with like eight different adapters. I think they specify on the Amazon listing which ones exactly they include, but they included uh, ones for this Canon camera and my Sony camera, so I'm set to go. What it will do is it'll just, it'll just move just a tiny bit, take a photograph, move a little bit more, take a photograph, move a little bit more and take a photograph. A lot of different adjustable parameters here. I'm not gonna go into the individual ones, uh, but if you're a time-lapse photographer, this will work for you. So things we can adjust here other than the speed, we could adjust the angle of the slider if we wanted to get um, kind of a unique rising shot. Other things we can adjust is the um, pan location, so we can hone in on uh, what our center subject is. So this is like, using these pan bars, we adjusted the pan to look outward, so it, it makes this type of motion. Instead of focusing on something at the center, it makes this sweeping motion, which is a really cool shot you can get. By just adjusting these pan bars the opposite direction, we can get a tracking shot where it will focus on one object in the middle. It takes a lot of messing around to get the shot that you're looking for, and the unit is kind of heavy to carry around in general. But all in all, I'll tell you that the shot that you get in the very end after it's all said and done is worth it. If you're trying to bring some uniqueness to a corporation that you're making a video for, or if you're just trying to sell a story or a product, I would recommend you use the a and Pro motorized camera slider for your next production. I'll tell you that, Rhino's in some trouble. They, they, this, this product is giving them a run for their money. There, there is certain things that I just have to ignore because it was, you know, a very cheaply priced product, but, you know, all in all, it's, it's very clear that Rhino creates a, a, a much better and more refined product. You know, if, you, if you're willing to figure out this unit, if you're willing to you know, spend the three minutes it takes to set up uh, every time you want to get a shot, uh, if you're willing to do those things, the results will impress you. A lot of new professionals, a lot of hobbyists, and a lot of YouTubers um, are going to be buying this product Thank you for watching my product review today. Um, be sure to let me know if you have any questions uh, of anything that I didn't cover. Uh, I can answer your questions in the comment section below. Um, other than that, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more awesome content like this. 
and be sure to have a good rest of your day.